We've developed a culture based on buying things at the lowest possible price, shipping them all over the world. That culture is not sustainable. We can't just buy our way out of uh, practicing good community. That's, this country was founded on uh, community, people connecting with each other. So much of what I, I think creates resilience within an economy is having an autonomy locally, having a, a bunch of independent business owners that are passionate about their products, about the quality of service that they're providing, and about really supporting the local culture that is there within the community. When you think about Boulder, it's the uniqueness of our local independent businesses that really make you think of Boulder as being Boulder. Whether it be the unique shops on Pearl Street Mall or the large and small businesses, a large one like McGuckin Hardware. And they're not the kind of businesses you're going to find anywhere else. If you look around Boulder County, you'll find more independent, locally owned businesses than any other spot per capita in Colorado. And I challenge anyone to find a spot in the country that has a more vibrant local community, either culturally or economically. Locally owned independent businesses employ the majority of people in the country, and it's a very stable kind of employment. If I own one company, I'm not just going to close it because it had a bad year or a bad six months. I'm going to do everything I can to keep it alive and keep my employees employed. I have only one store. I've completely changed my profession. Whereas Kmart or Whole Foods can easily close a store, lay everybody off, they have 800 other stores. Local independents are reliable employers. It's one reason why the city of Boulder has had reliable employment through this current recession. Our idea behind opening this store was to create a system, an alternative trading system, that provides living wages, access to health care, child care, all the things that we expect as citizens of this country. We extend to the artisans who make all these beautiful products in all those 60 plus countries. So the idea is that they're participating in a system and we're participating in a system that creates a better life for everyone. The change that happens buying locally is, uh, is not only can we try new products and, and do things that will help us work towards a more sustainable future, but we can help our friends and neighbors. I mean, it, it feeds their families. The jobs that are created locally um, feed the people down the street from us and create opportunities for our, our neighbors to have a better income and a better lifestyle. When you go and you spend your, your money on businesses that aren't local, most of that money immediately leaves the local area. It's going back to the national corporation. It's going to their shareholders. One of the main objections people have to shopping at local independent businesses is they think it's cheaper to go to, say, Home Depot. But in many cases, it's not cheaper. If you compare cornflakes in a big chain grocery store to a local grocery store, yeah, the cornflakes might be cheaper. But if you compare a whole shopping basket full of stuff, it often isn't less expensive at the chain store, and there have been studies done on this. When you support corporations that care primarily about the bottom line, about profits, and seem to be increasingly willing to engage in unethical behavior in order to achieve those profits, you yourself abandon the very values and principles that you really hold to be important to you. In my mind, we need to change the world. The world needs a lot of changes, and, and how do you do that? None of us can change the world as a whole. What we can change is the world around us. We do that by acting locally um, and working within our local communities to develop stronger communities and uh, more sustainable communities, and then it spreads outward from there. Buying local and supporting independent business is really your way of making a statement about what's important to you and what you value in your life. If you value honesty, if you value integrity, if you value good relationships, if you value community, if these are the things that you value, then you owe it to yourself and to everyone around you to support local independent business.